Want to speak real French from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at FrenchPod101.com. Hey, watchers, and welcome back to Top Words. This week will be about top 10 hardest words to pronounce. So, what's hard to pronounce in French? Heureux, happy. Heureux. Is it so hard to pronounce? Maybe for English speakers, because the E sound is really peculiar to the French language. Heureux. Heureux. Because I'm happy. Parce que je suis heureux. You make me happy. Tu me rends heureux. Ta. Huile d'olive. Olive oil. Really? Huile d'olive. Yeah, it's full of oui, 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 oui. You try it. Huile d'olive. It's a oily sound. Oui. I like olive oil. J'aime l'huile d'olive. Pasta with olive oil. Des pâtes à l'huile d'olive. This is delicious. Je. I. 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 Je. It's also the same sound for game. Des jeux. Jeux vidéo. Video games. It's the E sound again. Try it. E. Je vais à la mer. I'm going to the beach. Je voudrais sortir. I would like to go out. Je voudrais sortir. It's again full of... <laughs> It sounds like the French language is made only of vowels. Je voudrais sortir. <laughs> I would like to go out tonight. Je voudrais sortir ce soir. And party! Livre. Book. Oh, I see, because for English-speaking people, the R sound is also quite difficult to pronounce in French. Livre, because it's kind of like a motor. J'aime lire des livres. I like reading books. That must be a complicated sentence to say for you guys. Mémoire. Memory. Mémoire. Je n'ai pas de mémoire. I got no memory. Three second memory. <laughs> Trois secondes de mémoire. Merci. Thank you. Merci. Yes, yeah, the E and R sound again. Merci. Don't forget to roll the R a little bit. Ugh. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Je vous remercie. I thank you. Kind sir or kind lady, madam. Mercredi, Wednesday. Mercredi, have fun trying to pronounce this one. Mercredi, je fais du sport le mercredi. I do sports on Wednesday. Not true. Quincaillerie, hardware store. Quincaillerie, acheter un marteau à la quincaillerie. To buy a hammer at the hardware store. Très bien. Very good. Très bien. Ooh, <laughs> this also must be complicated. Très bien. Try to roll the R sound again. Très bien. You did really good. Tu as très bien fait. If you can pronounce this one, it's très bien. If you can pronounce this one, it's very good. And in the end, so try to try and pronounce the other word and pay a particular attention to the E sound and R. <laughs> and we'll see you next time for more words. Don't forget to subscribe and check the website. See you next time. A bientôt. Hi, everybody. Candice here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, while I answer your most common French questions. The question for this lesson is, what are some popular French idioms? In English, we have our fair share of idioms like it's raining cats and dogs, or even what's up? They might not make much sense literally, but they are commonly used in everyday conversation. French, of course, has them too, and here are some examples. Faire la tête means to sulk, but its literal translation is actually to do the head. It's used when someone isn't happy about something and in a bad mood. For example, elle a fait la tête toute la journée. She sulked all day. We also have coup de foudre, which literally means a strike of lightning. But as an idiom, it means love at first sight. Pretty fitting, actually. 
Sa marche is one you'll come across every day. Marcher means to walk. But sa marche means that works. English speakers might recognize this following one. Il fait un temps de chien, literally. It's a dog weather. It means, as you might have guessed, it's terrible weather. Here's a funny one. Arriver comme un cheveu sur la soupe. It literally means to arrive like a hair in the soup. This is about entering a situation at the worst possible moment. It can also mean arriving suddenly, by chance. Another idiom that uses food is mettre son grain de sel, literally, to put one's grain of salt. It's an idiom that means to give an unnecessary opinion. Donner sa langue au chat, literally, means to give one's tongue to the cat. But it actually means to give up. For example, if someone asks you to guess something and you have no idea what the answer is. Another one that doesn't make much sense, but you'll often hear is faire la grasse matinée, which literally means to do a fat morning but people use it to say they slept in. Ça coûte les yeux de la tête, which means it's ridiculously expensive, but literally means it costs the eyes out of the head. There you go, try them out. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. A bientôt, see you soon. Hi everybody, Candice here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher where I answer your most common French questions. The question for this lesson is, how can I use French slang? There are a lot of words you hear in French that you'll almost never see written. In fact, there are many expressions that are unique to spoken French. Take quoi at the end of a sentence, for example. Quoi in spoken French doesn't just mean what. When used at the end of a sentence, it's a filler word that adds emphasis. If you're talking about something with your friend and she says, c'est normal quoi, she isn't asking a question. In English, it would sound something like, this is quite normal. She's emphasizing how average or usual the situation is. A very popular slang word among young people is genre. It can be translated to the filler word like in English. For example, c'était genre trop bien would be it was like amazing. Another common word that's used differently in spoken slang is se casser, which means to go separate ways or to split up. Say you at lunch with some friends and you have another appointment to go to. You might say, on se casse? to signal the end of the get-together. The closest equivalent would be, let's get out of here. However, be careful when you use it, because it can come off as a little rude. On a similar note, casse-toi means get lost, which can be mean or playful, so be careful with this one too. Let's look at some words you'll usually only use in conversation. Un boulot is literally a job. Boulot comes from the French verb boulotter, which means to work with secrecy. Its nuance is more of what I do to get by, rather than what I do for a living, which would be le travail. Un petit boulot, or sometimes just un boulot, is a part-time or a job. Un bouquin is the casual word for a book. Bouquin comes from the Dutch book, which also means book and has a similar pronunciation. France has a strong academic culture and informal discussions over books happen often. So many people use bouquin in more casual settings instead of livre, which is the formal way to say book. The word buffet means to scarf down food, when you're really hungry and not paying attention to your manners. It's not an insult though. 
Everyone understands the need to bouffe sometimes, especially after a long, hard day of work. However, because of France's vibrant culinary culture, bouffe isn't a word you'll come across in polite circles. Ouf is an interjection you'll hear often. It means you're relieved after you've done or gone through something crazy. You can use it as an adjective too, like c'est ouf when you're talking about a crazy situation. It most closely translates to that's sick or simply that's crazy. You can even describe a person as un ouf, which means someone who's lost his mind. Ouf actually comes from Verlan, which is a pattern of slang in French. We'll talk about that more in another lesson. Here are a couple more common slang words. Kiffé means to dig something or to like something. Dingue means crazy, either in a good way or a bad way. Another one is chiant, a vulgar slang word which means really annoying. How was it? Go ahead and try them out. At your own risk, of course. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. A bientôt, see you soon. Welcome back, watchers. This week we are going to talk about 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. Let's go. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. Il m'a fallu un an seulement pour parler couramment. It took me only one year to become fluent. I would be really amazed if you told me that in French. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. J'ai parfaitement compris tout ce que vous avez dit. I completely understood everything you said. Nice. Très bien. Very good. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. J'apprends le français depuis 10 ans. I've been learning French for 10 years. And it took you only one year to become fluent. Nice. 10 years is a long way to go, but it may be the time you need to learn a language properly, actually. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. J'apprends le français par moi-même. I'm learning French all by myself. All by myself. I'm learning French all by <laughs> Now you're learning French with me. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I speak French like a native speaker in three years. Je parlerai français comme un locuteur natif dans trois ans. I'll speak French like a native speaker in three years. Good luck with that. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Je peux mémoriser environ 50 nouveaux mots français par jour. I can memorize around 50 new French words a day. Wow, that's amazing, yeah. That's really amazing, so yeah, if you told me that in French, I would be amazed. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Je peux regarder des films français sans sous-titres. I can watch French movies without subtitles. Man, and this is also really good, and it's a really good way to learn as well. So do it whenever you can. You can try by starting to watch Le Fabuleux Destin d'Amélie Poulain. It's a very famous French movie. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. Apart from knowing French, I can speak a few other languages as well. Je sais aussi parler quelques autres langues à part le français. <laughs> Apart from knowing French, I can speak another few languages as well. Good job. I bet you can also speak English. <gasps> That's already two languages. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Le français est amusant et facile à apprendre. French is fun and easy to learn. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. And I hope you will continue to enjoy the lessons with me as well. Okay. <laughs> Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Merci, mais en fait, je ne suis pas un locuteur natif. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually. Wow. If someone tells you this, it means not only you're really good at speaking French, but you also got no accent at all. And it's the end. So don't forget to subscribe to learn more French. And 
What's the best sentence you can say in French? Amaze me in the comments. And we'll see you next time. See you guys and girls and watchers and kittens.